Hey everyone, it's Amateur, and I wanted to show you guys um, a project that I made with my brand new Magnolia Vintage Box Number 2, which I got at the Art Attacks at Tracy's shop, which is artattacksupplies.com. You guys, of course, I will leave a link in the description. And also, I have another video that I just posted before this one. Um, I will leave that link here as well, so you can see what you get in this vintage box. I used most of it, um, and let me show you what else I, I used for my project. Um, these are the stamps. I use some of the stamps, and these are the dies that come in that vintage box. I use this large shaped here, this um, game wheel, this tab right here with the star, this little ticket, and this is a little bonus die that you get, which is a little dimensional uh, popcorn box. So I use that as well for my project. Now these are the Magnolia Doohickey Vintage Squares. And these are also available in Tracy's shop right now at artatechsupplies.com. I've been asked a few times about these, and these were out of stock, but she does have these available. So if you guys are searching for these, go ahead and get these. I absolutely love it. I use this for the base. I also used the Tilda, which is different from the Magnolia Tilda, but they're both from Sweden. These are the Tilda Spring Diaries papers. So I wanted to do something with these papers. I haven't had a chance to play with them. So I went ahead and made a project. Um, now all of these items right now are available in the shop. So is this one. This one is um, the Sakura Tilda Picking Carrot. Um, a stamp, and of course, you guys know I'm never use stamps for what they're meant for, so I actually altered it a little bit, and I also used this one. Now, this, um, this is called Jingle Bells. It's a pony. It's actually a holiday themed pony, and I use it like a carousel circus pony. Um, and I think this one actually is retired, but you can use any of the other stamps that you want. Like I said, this one is in the, in the shop right now. Um, so let me show you guys what I went ahead and used. I mean, went ahead and made. So I wanted to make one of these super embellished cards that they have on that you guys see on Pinterest, on Instagram and stuff like that. But Magnolia, hopefully I didn't mess it up. Um, I ended up going a little darker than I expected with my vintage photo on it. I stamped everything with um, Memento Timber Brown or the Brown Ink. And um, here are the items right here. And then I sprayed it. Look, I actually shimmered it with um, scintillating silver uh, spray. And it probably did a little too much. But hey. Um, so here is the tab with the straw. And then I also sprinkled that frontage stuff, which totally didn't work out for me again. But, um, you know, what can you do? Here is the popcorn box. And here you can see it's actually dimensional. And I even have the popcorns are dimensional and distressed a little bit as well. Here you can see the background, which is the larger shape. Here's a little smaller one with my initials. Um, here is the ticket. Here is the uh, the spinner wheel. And um, I you probably can't see it, but I actually put little the numbers on the end of the, t the tickets. When I sprayed the scintillating silver, I have to remember that that actually takes away or like dissolves a little bit of the ink, and that's kind of what happened. Um, here is a sentiment that says, Life is a circus. Enjoy the show. And see, look. Super, super shimmery. Am I even in focus? And I went ahead and just did the inside. And it's actually, I actually used also some um, heavyweight cardstock to back this just to make sure it was sturdy. And um, so, yeah. But that is the, uh, the, the, the card that I made. And I wanted it to do something different. I originally wanted it to be not only have all of the elements, all of these tickets and the the stuff that they have, but I also wanted it to do something different. I wanted these tops that made me think of like the top of a circus tent and also like a pinwheel. So I wanted it to spin. My original design didn't work out, but I think I actually turned out pretty well. So look at this. I actually got it to got the the back part to spin. Now I was gonna have everything spin, but I felt it would look kind of funny when the when the little girl um, when Tilda was like that on the pony, so that wouldn't you know that wouldn't work out. So I went ahead. Now the funny thing is I did record the process of this, and it totally I totally messed it up. Um, I recorded it on Nathan's phone, um, his old phone, and it, I just I can't work Samsung phones. They're garbage. I'm gonna tell you right now, they're garbage, garbage. I digress. I'll just do everything from my phone. I'm filming now on my phone. Um, or I need a camera. Maybe I should start like a GoFundMe for a camera or something. So, um, but here it is. I'm totally, totally loving it. Now this one actually has two different layers of this, um, this shape. I went ahead and cut it and cut it down. Sad thing is you can't really see it except for like right there. Um, to kind of make it look like more of a pinwheel 
when it was spinning, but you can kind of see it. You really can't see it after so much of the stuff has been layered. And this shape right here is also the um, one of these um, background shapes right there. So, and I made a little like a little clip right now of a um, little stop action one with just pictures because I want it to show um, it spinning. So I absolutely freaking love it, you guys. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Anyhow, um, that is what I made. I finally made one of these cards, although I do believe maybe it leaves a, it needs a little more um, compared to the other ones I've seen. But I am very happy with, I have several bits of pieces of layering and I also have the fact that it has motion to it. So, and here it is with um, facing that way so you can see the shimmer on this puppy. I mean, this thing is shimmered like nobody's business. So, yeah. So, let me know what you guys think, you guys. I haven't made a project. Um, I redid this project twice because it upset me the first time the way I wanted to make it. It just wasn't working. But I'm glad I finally got to get it done and I'm getting back to crafting. So, I'll have some more videos up soon. So, um, and I have some super awesome things coming up also. So, let me know what you guys think, you guys. Um, and like I said, if you are interested in the vintage box number two, Tracy still has some of these available. And these um, were on pre-order. So, once they're gone, they're gone. She has these vintage squares also available in the shop the um the tilda holding carrots and this awesome spring diaries super 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 um cute i thought it was perfect because they had some prints with little stripes really went off well even in a little popcorn box look it has stripes super super cute so let me know what you guys think and i will talk to you guys soon bye everyone